Now, where to go?
lot of power in this.
look, a cave! I, I think I can handle this. Here I go! Do what I can. my best all right I actually caught a fish
I think I'm gonna take you down!
I think I can handle this gun. It. I can't get over how huge Bulma's place is.
I think I can handle this. Stop!
You got it! A lot of power in this. Wow, this energy is incredible. Lucky. <laughs> Hi there. Yes? Hi! No! Understood. Ah! <laughs> 
Stop! You got it! Hey, what gives? Come on now. <sighs> uh, okay. Dad must have really let loose. shall grant you any wish. State your wish.
<laughs> Wait a minute.
to... Hey, now! Come on! Yeah!
It's over. Always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. His. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! Over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive! No, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly them, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have 
actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! How in the world did Frieza survive? Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? And to think we're going up against him again. First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes! So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Fraser? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Oh no! 
Impossible. Right! I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku! You're more than welcome to join me! What? 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 How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there! If you're coming, then follow me! So, what do we do? Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So... Can I ask... You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? H how did you do that? Unfortunately... I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here, so please just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. Huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. 
We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I guess I'd better go talk to him. I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now? I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me.
Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giraud. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! 
your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! But Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's got to be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean... It just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the yard rats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission. transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? 
that's not much of a downside if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> Sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine. But don't waste too much of our time. Oh yeah, training with Piccolo. I can't wait. I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. <laughs> yeah! 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 All right. Master Roshi, please consider your age. 
Oh, I'm always gonna love me some pretty ladies. I can tell this thing's got lots of energy.
Ooh. Huh? Huh? Yep. this right <laughs> actually
Hmm, can I eat this? to find Bubbles some super tasty bananas. Food. <laughs> we got a keeper. should be good. going on?
What? <sighs> right. Thank you! Huh? Hello! Thank you! Hey! Huh? King Kai, I'll bring you one next time, I swear! If I don't forget, that is. You've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And go on, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> train go on because you're gonna fight some robots in three years yeah that's okay right no that's not okay are you insane do you think i'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt gohan's studies uh, it's, i'm not trying to do that it's just well the earth might be in big trouble about three years from now no i don't care what you say i'm not letting gohan train with you Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. 
What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Titi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Uh, don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Yeah! Some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Here goes! <laughs> Found some tasty looking food. food. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. Yeah. Up my training. Looks like 
like a great apple. Looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. <laughs> Look at this prime cut of meat. It's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. Seems pretty tough. I could really go for some food right about now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Seems pretty tough. Yeah! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. <laughs> Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I bet this thing tastes amazing. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. that Kami needs to interrupt my training. It's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training.
This place isn't as big as West City, but it's still pretty big. so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. What's this? <laughs> we got a keeper. I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. Yeah! You I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Huh. I feel like I've seen this bell before. I think this is what Corrin gave me before I met Kami. Grant you any wish. State your wish.
Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Hey! Goku! Yajirobi, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy's so easy. Uh, that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Yeah! Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensor beans, so I should help him out once in a while. Lucky! What's this? I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him. Wants to clean him too. See why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check.
Best to deal with this now. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> Look at this prime cut of meat. Try this. All right. <laughs> we got a keeper. I got what you wanted! Awesome! I knew you'd pull through, Goku! Just wait right there! Hey, Corrin, look! I got the stuff for you! You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me! Goku's the one who got it! You're slower than a freaking sloth! Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot! All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. I'm pumped up and ready to go! Lend me your energy! No, you should train some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go 
Gohan's taking a real liking to Piccolo. Those two actually make a pretty great team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Training's gonna be great. Can't wait to join them for sessions. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Time to train. Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do.
gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at?